Kongo Kundu bypass project is slated to be completed in 2024 ahead of schedule. Coast Regional Commissioner John Elungata says already the required equipment and logistics have been put in place to start construction of the dual carriageway. Phase 2 of the Dongo Kundu bypass project was scheduled to begin in August 2020 but was postponed due to the paperwork delays. However, the government now says the project, which will cost taxpayers 24 billion shillings, is set to start in earnest. Coast Regional Commissioner John Elungata says the project will be completed scheduled before 2024. That by September, somebody can see something uh, already, uh, especially on the Mwacha Bridge and onto the viaduct and on to the Mteza Bridge and all the way to Kibundani. We've seen uh, the, the road is already actually getting a black top. The road was to run for 48 months, supposed to end in year 2024, but the progress so far, right now we have done about 30% of the works and we have mobilized most of the equipment, most of the important material. The bypass is expected to provide an alternative to the Likoni crossing channel and enhance traffic to the south coast. This road is also expected to boost trade between Kenya and Tanzania. Of course, we'll also shorten the distance between here and uh, Diani. And of course, it will link to our airport, uh, Mombasa International Airport, Moi International Airport, and of course, the SGR train station at Miritini. The Dongo Kundu bypass is part of the road networks to be commissioned at the coast that also include the 114 kilometer Garsen Witu Lamu Highway and Shimoni and Vanga Road projects in Kwale County. Elsewhere, the Vision 2030 Delivery Secretariat has urged the youth at the coast to take advantage of the massive infrastructure development project and seek capital from the youth fund for their businesses. <laughs> So far, 10,604 youths and women in Kwale County have benefited from the youth fund.